Hi everybody, this is Martha the dog trainer from Kim's Canine Training Center. Um, welcome to my home <laughs> where everybody is hanging out right now for the next three weeks. Um, I am here today to talk to you about nose work, how we can use your dog's nose um, to use their brain uh, to get them a little bit more tired and to do something fun with them during this time that we're spending more time together, which is great. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do nose work. Um, simple ways like taking a handful of their food and throwing it out to the backyard or even throwing it across the kitchen floor um, so that your dog has to hunt for it in a sense. Um, great easy ways when you are busy to do nose work and have your dog use their nose to, to work for their food. Um, if your dog likes their meals, use their meals for this guys. Um, my, uh, my Springer Spaniel uh, is a food hound, right? He loves, loves, loves food and um, I'll give him breakfast in a Kong Wobbler which is a feeder enrichment toy and then for his second meal because it's not good for him to eat it right before bed he tends to drink a ton of water when he eats uh, I spread it out throughout the day and use it for enrichment activities especially right now when I have extra time to do that so um, so again you can use do something as simple as just throwing it you know across the room or across the um, a yard outside you know if it's a nice day they can hunt for their food amongst the grass um, but for right now I'm gonna show you how to do it with boxes and containers in your home you can use pretty much any boxes I pulled um, a bunch of boxes out of my recycling <laughs> uh, because they work it doesn't really matter um, and uh, so so use appropriate sized boxes for the size dog that you have um, my hound dog can use I have a two-year-old diaper boxes because he's big enough that he can get his head in there even if the box is sitting up like this he can still get over it and get his head to the bottom easily um, if you have a um, dachshund or a beagle that box is probably a little big for them but something like this if it's on its side or something like this is probably fine um, any old Amazon boxes that you've got with all the packages you might be getting in um, are good you can also use containers you want them to be clean so they're not carrying too much extra scent. You don't want to make it too challenging to the dog at first. These are clear, which is not ideal, but I don't think my dogs really use their eyesight very much, to be perfectly honest. Um, dogs are really smart, <laughs> but they're not always that smart. Um, all the way down to, I've used these before for um, nose work, right? Just getting them to look for the food, um, play the cup game in a sense to use their nose to figure out which cup the food is under. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, how to start them out with box um, and then I'm going to show you some of the cool things that I've done with my dogs to uh, work on nose work with them. I think it's a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thanks so much. Alan is very much ready to go and Jones in the background is enjoying a busy toy um, so that he doesn't have to be in the middle of this. Now Solomon knows exactly what I have in my hand. He's washing my hand very closely. So I'm going to start with this oatmeal glass. Okay, I'm going to put it on the ground in full view of him and drop some food in there where he can see it. He sees exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to leave it up so that it's easy for him to put his nose in and get to. Solomon Libre. And I'm going to let him go for it. Now, clearly that was really easy for him to do. He saw what I was doing. He, he didn't even have to use his nose necessarily. He knew exactly what was going on there. So we are going to set it up one more time. Solomon, Papo. Good dog. Good boy. And I'm going to do it again. Now, this time I'm going to make it just ever slightly more challenging. I'm going to put the food in the box and then I'm just going to tickle it side. It's a little more tricky. Solomon, leave it. Get it. Solomon, get it. Solomon, get it. Leave it. Good boy. Sometimes he doesn't believe me when I tell him he can, he can go for it. Good. Now, this is a little more tricky. Why is this more tricky? Did you get it? I don't even know if you're using your notes or not. It's a little more tricky because with it being on its side, it slides around. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> you got it that time. I know you did. I know you did. Let's do it again. Come on. One more time. Good. Keep in mind, Abajo. Keep in mind that the slightest change that you make can make it significantly more difficult for the dog. So I'm gonna do this one one more time because that was a little challenging for him. Levi! Solomon, Levi! Wait. I'm waiting for 
and use his nose. There it is. So we started to walk past it and realized that the tree indeed is in the box. <laughs> Working really hard at getting it out now. There we go. I'm just going to use my foot to hold it there so it doesn't slide into the couch. Good job, buddy. You did it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, now we're going to make a little more slightly out of view. I actually put him in a down around the corner, and he scooched his way over. So the treat is in the green box again still, um, but I've stacked it on top of another box. So I'm going to see what he does with that. Solomon Libre. Libre, come on. Solomon, you can get it. Good boy. Here. Good job. Look at how clever you are. Aren't you a smart boy? Okay, let's do it again. Good boy. Good boy. Make sure that he did actually eat it. Yep, he did. Cheater. Look at that little cheater over there. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the brown box this time instead. And stack things a little differently here. Solomon Libre. Libre. Solomon Libre. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Now he goes to the green box because he assumes that's where it's where it will be. And even though it has a faint smell from the last time, aha, uh -huh, there he actually used his nose. Now he's really looking for it. Good job, buddy. Good job, Solomon. Good boy. You did it. Good boy. Right here, bud. Good job, buddy. Good job. You did a good job. Good boy. So you can see how you can make it a little bit more challenging at a time, eventually building up to all kinds of different things. And I'll show you some examples of the more advanced things that we've done. Thanks so much, buddy. Good Anyone job. For Solomon. I've got the food in the green box, inside the brown box, inside the diaper box, on top of the other diaper box. Now, this may be a little much for one day, <laughs> but I'm going to see if he can do it. You never want to challenge the dog more than what they can succeed in. So if he's not seeming to get it quickly, then I'll tone it back down for him. But this is a good example of something pretty challenging. Solomon Libre. To you. Libre, come on. Good boy. Find it. He's exploring all options right now. Oh, he found my stash of treats on the piano. Really gives up on that. There you go. Right, so he's not getting it, so I'm gonna lower the challenge just a little bit. dog right there.
You can see some more. I hear it. There is more. I think you got it. All right. Good job, buddy. Well, since Jones is almost finished with his Kong, I'm going to trade out and do an intro of the boxes for Jonesy. Jones is not as motivated by kibble. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use treats for him. Um, and we'll see how quickly he goes. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Now I've got one pretty good sized treat in this little box. Now I've showed him that it's in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down where he can see it. Jones free. And I'm going to let him figure it out. Now this is pretty easy. I'm going to give him a minute here and let him think about it. The more I ignore him, the more likely he is to give up on me and start using his nose, which is what I would really like to see. That's my dog right there. Look in the floor. Oh, he got it. Did you see that head come up? He smells a treat. Perfect. Now he's inspired. He knows the liver is there. Get it, buddy, get it. Jones. I know, I know you really want the Kong, too. Let's try this again. Make it a little easier for you. Ready? Come on over here. Right here. Good boy. Jonesy. Jones. Good. Down. Good. Solomon's really loving that other treat. Here. Ready? Drop an extra one in there. Yeah, make it nice and easy for him. Jonesy, free. There we go. <laughs> now my Jones can be a little bit of a scaredy cat. So you'll notice when the box moves, he gets a little uncertain. And he's not sure. Jonesy! He's not sure if he should try it again. There we go. Getting a little more brave. Good, I know. What do you think? What do you think? Good. He knows the treats are in there. I know the trees are in there. Good boy. Nice. Good job, buddy. He's just got to work hard. Not to go in. Good. Nice. You got him. Perfect. Good job, Jonesy. Good job. Ready? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Jonesy, down. All right, I'm going to make it pretty easy again. X. Good, but I want him to watch again this time. So he's going to hang out right there, and I'm going to get my box back. Pretty big chunk again here. Turn it maybe a different way. Jonesy free. Good boy, Jonesy. You got it. You got it. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Good. <laughs> Even though the box is doing funny things, he's now a little like I'm just going to set out a couple more boxes just to make this a little bit more interesting. For right now, I'm going to use the same box to put the treat in. And he's still watching me. Throw that treat in there. I'm going to set it up here on top of this other box. Now, he's watched me do this, this whole thing, right? The next step would probably be for him to lay down around the corner so he can't see it. And then, Jonesy free. I'll let him go. He's got it. He's got it. He hears some really enjoying his busy toy over there. That's what he hears. Jonesy, find it. There it is. Good boy. Nice. Clever dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> 
All right. You got it. Jonesy, sit. Good dog. Good boy. Good sit. Jonesy, right. down. Good down. Good boy. Mostly out of sight. If you ever wanted to play the cup game with your dog, this is how you do it. here. A red one. That's it. I'm just going to meticulously place those there. Jones free. Just oh, he smelled it right away. keep your dog's brains working and keep us and them entertained during these three weeks at home. Thanks guys. <laughs>